Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull and boring moment in crypto finance or the stock market. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now today is a very interesting day in the crypto markets. Finally, the volumes have picked up, which is quite nice. My trading bots are in profit. Going to be talking about, yes, another price prediction for XRP because it makes it fun and enjoyable. Anyway, this one's at 594. Let's have a look at that one as well. Uh, we've got a pro Ripple lawyer firing back at the regulator now about XRP, which is interesting. Invesco and Galaxy Digital cutting their spot Bitcoin ETF fees, which is nice. Uh, we've got a Bitcoin volatility at a record low uh, in a sign that more will hold long term, which is nice. So the volatility is actually dropping. It's becoming more stable, which is interesting as well. BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF volumes are picking up, right? So they're becoming the market leader. And Grayscale, the sell-offs have finally cooled down. So we could start to see some nice gains moving upwards. So we're going to get into that as well as my trading bots and the news on X. There are some bullish interviews we're going to play. So let's get into the video. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you are new, make sure you smash the subscribe button down down below and turn on that little bell notification because as you can see right here, I absolutely love documenting my journey with investing, with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom. And of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. Things are getting freaking insane in this space. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. All right. So make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys absolutely rock. Also a little disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. All right. I don't want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. All right. Formalities are out of the way. Literally just posted this up 26 seconds ago, but we have Grayscale now uh, sending 8.6K Bitcoin worth $360 million to Coinbase, uh, which is lower than their $500 million average. So that is very, very nice. That selling off has reduced significantly. Moving down, we've got my trading bots with three commas on OKX now in profit again, which is nice. That's on the 26th of Jan. By the way, this is all in the Wall Street Bull University. And I have linked, by the way, uh, two of my uh, multi bots that I'm using at the moment, all right, and they're on 15x leverage, both long and short. You can copy those. That's in the community tab. Just a little gift so you can have a look. Uh, profits on the 27th there is $89, which is nice. Uh, we've got $27. I'm not complaining about that. I'll take any profit. And of course, on the 29th, which was yesterday, that's $175. So that is very, very bullish. Top altcoins in the portfolio. We had LCX, Superfarm, Sia Coin, Casper, and Cardano. And I'm still holding on to my Cardano. I'm bullish on the project. It is part of my banking coins list anyway. So a lot of people don't like it, but I actually like it. I think it's great. Now let's go to coin market cap. We've got 1.66 trillion at the moment in market cap. We've got $49 billion in volume, which is up 14%, which is nice in 24 hours. 51% Bitcoin dominance and the fear and greed index is sitting at 55. Bitcoin's currently trading at 43,240 US dollars, which is nice. Ethereum's at 2,300. Solana's at 101, up 6%. We've got XRP up 53 cents. That's 2%. Cardano's up 7% at $52. Quickly moving on to my favorites. XLM is 11 cents. Hedera at 7 cents as well. VeChain, bane of my existence with this project. Uh, I'm still bullish on it. It's up 3%. Quant is at 108 uh, this is my actual portfolio, by the way. This gets shared every single day in the Patreon. Gala is at two cents. XDC at four cents. We have Casper at three cents as well. Some nice gems. LCX is up 29% today at 24 cents. That is bullish as anything. XYO is in the penny still at, you know, double zero five. Star Atlas again, pennies. Uh, bullish on that project, I should say. Let's just go back to my watch list. Scrolling down, Reef is in the pennies as well, up 2.9%. That's just a long-term hold for me, but that is actually my portfolio. Go join up to the Wall Street Bull University. You'll get full access to that. Let's go to Crypto Bubbles. And before I do, yes, I have the Wall Street Bull University linked below. Again, this is my uh, full-blown uh, financial uh, dealings here, guys. It's really incredible, the community. I put up on my buy, sells, trades, indicators, day trading bots with three commas. Uh, all the news before I go live on the channel. Absolutely everything in here, guys. You can speak to me in the chat and the direct messages. It's bullish as anything. And there's 1,708 posts. Absolute no BS going up in here. 
Very, very nice. I just put in my, uh, up this morning, my dollar cost averaging buys in the stock portfolio, which provides cash flow with dividend stocks. It's incredible. Go join up to the Wall Street Bull University. There are videos on how to set up my three commas trading bots, by the way, so you don't have to keep looking back and finding that what I'm doing. It's all in there. So go check it out. You will not regret it. Quick look at three commas. Now, again, I do have a significant amount of bots set up trading the markets 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm trading single pairs on 15x leverage, all the top 50 altcoins. You can copy these if you want. I've linked them in the group. Uh, also, the multi bots on both long and short with 8x leverage and 10x leverage. It's up to you. You can play around with these. The uh, referral link for three commas is in the description below. You will get a discount on your monthly membership and, and uh, also the yearly membership. It's up to you. You can buy it the whole year. You don't have to think about it for 12 months, which is nice. You will get a 25% discount on that and 10% off the monthly membership. So, Links are below to three commas. It's bullish. Again, I'm using a, an RSI indicator on a three minute time frame. You can adjust these parameters to whatever you like and whatever you're comfortable with. So go check it out. Really, really bullish. Having a quick look at OKX, and by the way, I haven't even got it open up at the moment. I'm just bringing it up. Currently up $161 today, which is really nice as well. Still up on the six months, 9,000. That's 38% uh, return. Absolutely bullish as anything. We do have some profit sitting in there. That's going to open up new trades. 112 open orders with 66 open positions at the moment. Uh, look and see you here, guys. It would be absolutely impossible to trade this day trading. You would need to be sitting at a computer for hours and hours and hours. I don't need to do that. Again, long and shorts are in profit at the moment, 3%. This one's at 11%. Small profits, but there is a lot of them. If we go to position history, you can see the gains that these bots are making for me. So... 24 hours a day. This one was an actual nice one here, right here. 18 USDT. You're not complaining about that. Uh, scrolling down, I actually haven't checked these today. Let's have a quick look. Small profits. Small profits, $6. We have, you know, $1.40. Uh, four USD, 60 USDT here. This one got liquidated. I'm not worried about that. You do get some liquidations. I'd honestly say today is probably around about a 90 to 95% win rate, which is good. So, I'm trading at around about uh, 2K in capital. So just keep that one in mind. You can adjust to whatever capital you're uh, comfortable with. It's completely up to you. But anyway, join up to the Wall Street Bull University. No BS. You would absolutely get some value out of that. And uh, again, I'm making $165 to maybe $300 a day. I'm not complaining about that. But the uh, Wall Street Bull University membership, I've kept it at $5 US a month. So there you go accessible to everybody and there's also a free membership too so go check it out now crypto bubbles we have sui up 15 percent on the day which is nice again i was looking at this a while back but uh, currently trading at a dollar 56 at the moment cardano as well 52 cents up 7.4 percent today which is nice where are some gems let's have a look quant again 2.5 percent in the green 108 dollars that's pretty much remained flat all year chain link as well 15 dollars this was a lot higher in the previous bull market 3.9 percent today very, very nice to see that. And of course, we have Hedera, seven cents. Come on, 2% uh, percent on the day, bullish on Hedera Hashgraph. Moving on, let's get to the news. Crypto Exchange predicts a 1,000x return on XRP, price with ambitious rise to 594. Now, again, I know a lot of people hate when people do this and talk about XRP price predictions. I do it to have a bit of fun because anything is possible in this you know, crazy world we're all investing in. But Crypto Exchange Changely right here has laid out all encompassing price prediction for XRP. As part of this prediction, this platform stated that the crypto token would rise as high as $594 and gave a definitive timeline for when this would actually happen, which is a long time away from here. But look at this, Challengely, Changely, sorry, predicts that XRP will rise to this price of $594 in 2050. Hopefully, it's a lot sooner than, uh, than, than that, of course, but uh, with the representing the maximum price level that the crypto token can attain by then. Meanwhile, 512 to 540 uh, are predicted as what it will be the minimum average prices for XRP during the same time frame. And of course, by that stage, Bitcoin's probably going to be, what, a few million dollars. I totally agree with that one. But let's, you know... Be optimistic right here again. And uh, they predict that the maximum price of the token can achieve uh, in 2033 of $23. So, you know, again, I've seen it all. I've seen price predictions from $10, $20, $50, uh, you know, $10,000, $50,000 from Jimmy Val, from Val Hill Capital. Who knows? Either way, this project is going to change and revolutionize cross-border payments. So people need to be aware of that. 
and I'm still incredibly bullish on it, but we'll see what happens there. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to take profits if it gets to that $10 level. Finally. Anyway, we've got a pro ripple lawyer fires back at the New York regulator removing XRP from the green list, which is interesting right here. In early September 2023, the New York Department of Financial Services delisted Ripple's native token XRP from its green list. As a result, pro ripple lawyer James Murphy fired back demanding the financial services agency substantiate its reasons by removing XRP token. So essentially, they've removed it from the green list of accepted cryptos for trading which is interesting. And I'm sure Bitcoin and Ethereum are on that green list. Uh, but who knows what's going on with that? Getting through the news, we've got Avesco and Galaxy Digital cutting the spot Bitcoin ETF fees, which is really nice as well to see that because the competition is growing immensely. And BTCO will now charge 0.25% or 25 basis points down from the 39 basis points after a waiver. And BlackRock and Fidelity right now uh, dominating the spot Bitcoin ETF flows, which is huge. Now, I'm not going to get into this article because Bloomberg decides to charge everybody for this shit. But anyway, now we've got ETFs drive Bitcoin volatility to a record low, which is nice. And I was waiting for this to happen. But Bitcoin's 12-month volatility is at its lowest on record. Analysts say in the US, Bitcoin ETFs are expected to continue smoothing the assets price fluctuations over a longer time frame. So because there's more capital trading in the market, it's becoming less volatile, which is nice. You want to see that uh, because, you know, prior to this, there wasn't as much, enough capital. We were heavily reliant on whales buying, etc. So because there's a lot of capital from Wall Street coming into Bitcoin now, and I should say cryptocurrencies, things are going to start to get less volatile, which is a good thing. All right, so you're going to see like less price fluctuations going crazy. Having a look at this, BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF volume topping GBTC today, signaling the market shift. For the first time since launch, BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF is outpacing Grayscale because, you know, I mean, Grayscale's selling off a hell of a lot of Bitcoin in terms of trading volume so far today, according to Bloomberg analyst James Seifert, which is nice. And BlackRock spot Bitcoin ETF volume is surpassing Grayscale for the first time, hints at a slowdown on the outflows from Grayscale ETF, which had over $5 billion in outflow since the launch a couple of weeks ago. And as highlighted below, other spot Bitcoin ETFs have had total gross inflows of over $5.8 billion in like, what, three weeks? Absolutely insane. And yes, we can see right here, Grayscale Bitcoin sell-off slowing down after sending over $5 billion in Bitcoin to Coinbase. Imagine the Coinbase fees, how much money they're making off it. Wow. And uh, you can see right here, Look on Chain says that on Friday, Grayscale deposited $410 million in Bitcoin to Coinbase Prime. And of course, today that's now dropped down to 360. So that is slowing down finally about freaking time so we don't see as many flash crashes and people panicking. Buy flow, we've got money going into Ethereum, Solana, XRP, Doge, Arbitrum, CFX. We have Matic, Storage, and uh, Ethereum Classic right there, which is nice. Quick look at X. And uh, yes, I'm at the Wall Street Bull Oz. Go follow me on X. Thank you to those 6,022 people. You guys rock. I'm, uh, again, there are fake accounts on X. Please be careful with this. We've got James Seifert. Can confirm we have not $191 million out of GBTC today. Outflows continue to slow, which is bullish as anything. Uh, I want to play this interview with Brad Garlinghouse. Thank you, Jack the Rippler, for this again. It is designed for $10,000. I totally agree with this. And we're going to play another interview, which demonstrates this as well. Have a look. XRP across the XRP ledger to, let's say, Bitso, who's here in the audience today. You're selling the XRP and you're buying Mexican peso. By enabling that liquidity to move from dollar to peso in real time, you're changing how that oil is greasing the engine of correspondent banking. So for us, in a world of hype, in a world of experimentation, in a world where people talk about the opportunity and really the speculation of digital assets, we feel like XRP is the only digital asset really poised to solve a problem at scale, a global payments problem. 100%. Now, I just want to play you this interview right here because I think it's very, very important. I'm not going to play that one because I'll probably get banned. But have a listen to this, all right? They are slowly talking about Brad Garlinghouse and Ripple. Listen to this. Institutional buy-in. Uh, and I'd like to use the example, if uh, the Bank of Mitsubishi in Toko, Tokyo needs to transfer $100 million worth of yen to the New York branch and convert it to dollars, you need $100 million worth of yen in Tokyo and $100 million worth of dollars in New York. You're tying up $200 million in capital. If you can attach that to a coin, it's simultaneously so the bank frees up half the capital. That's a big deal. But we haven't made that jump yet. Yeah, but it, it looks like it's coming, doesn't it? I think so. Okay, yeah. Uh, we've got it.
Did you hear that? So again, we are essentially going to be, uh, you know, seeing banks use less of their capital and tying it up. And that's where the liquidity part of XRP, and I should say Ripple in general, is trying to aim for. So banks don't need to tie up that capital. That's that's extreme value to these institutions. Anyway, BlackRock, Van Eck are now advertising their spot Bitcoin ETFs on Google, their sponsored posts. For those of you who run a social media and advertising and so forth, this is crazy stuff. This would cost an absolute fortune in Google Ads uh, advertising. Uh, now, again, the inverse Kramer ETF is shutting down, which is quite hilarious. I didn't even know there was one existing, but uh, it's now shutting down because it was making calls based on Jim Kramer's, you know, uh, calls on mad money, which is hilarious. We've got NASDAQ today, puppies. That's bullish as anything right there. We need a Frenchie right there. That's awesome at NASDAQ. And yes, I did post up the links from my videos yesterday. Go check that out. Uh, and that's pretty much it for today, Bulls. There's not a lot happening apart from the outflows are slowing down and it's about freaking time. And again, I'm bullish on my utility coins. The banking coins are absolute king for me. I don't care what anyone says. Utility is absolute king. And I cannot wait for XRP to go parabolic. It's still up 8,900% in all time. That would far outpace the S&P 500 in the last what? you know, 10 years. Unbelievable. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Thank you very much. Join the Wall Street Bull University. Follow me on social media and I'll speak to everyone tomorrow. Have a good night, good afternoon, and good morning. And if it's morning, have an espresso like I'm going to do. All right. Peace out, bulls. Bye.